Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we could talk about how we can elevate our brunch experience. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Nicole. I've been taking you all through Jennifer L. Scott's book, At Home with Madame Chic, and pulling my biggest takeaways from the book. Now with that, one of the things that Jennifer talks about is elevating your brunch experience. And maybe you are someone like myself and you throw brunches or you don't throw brunches. For me, I don't know a lot of people here in the UK just as of yet, or at least a lot of people where it's intimate enough to bring them into my home. And so with that, a lot of the brunches that I throw are just for my husband and I. And so I thought I would show you how I do this for the two of us because just because it's only you and your partner doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to elevate this experience. Why not make the experience a little bit more beautiful? Brunch, like Eleven's is, and afternoon tea is a great low stress way to entertain your friends. You do not have to worry about the formalities of a sit-down dinner party. The food can all be prepared beforehand and set out buffet style, allowing you to enjoy your guests. The key to a great brunch spread is abundance. You don't have to prepare dozens of dishes, but make what you do prepare appear bountiful. So if you are on Pinterest, which you should totally follow along with me over there, I'll put my feed right here you can use this as such a great way to get ideas for the recipes that you're going to cook and obviously you can either scale it if you're going to have more people around or descale it <laughs> if you're going to have less people around i think pinterest is great because it's very searchable and you can find different themes and different recipes that may fall into your dietary requirements so some of the recipes that I like making for just my husband and I is a hash brown casserole. Someone made this for me at my place of work years ago and, or was it hair school? I think it was actually hair school. And this casserole still sticks out in my mind. And basically what it was, was it was hash browns and then you, you take a can of mushroom soup and then you toss about the hash browns in the mushroom soup, you put it in the oven. I think she also fried some onions and put that in there and mixed it all about. And then on the top, it was the weirdest thing. It was cornflakes with butter and she put that in a frying pan for a bit just to kind of make it a little bit more crunchy. And then she layered it on top. Weirdest but most delightful thing. Hash browns are a staple in our household. I may not always do it like this, but it is definitely one of the easiest, most rustic and healthy things. Obviously, you're gonna wanna have potatoes in moderation because they are carbs, but they are also filling. And if you have a husband like mine who's always hungry, hash browns. You can definitely zhuzh them up and make them a little bit more bougie depending on what you add in them. I also love putting truffle oil on them. Another thing that I love putting out when we are having a little bit more of an elevated brunch is a salmon and asparagus and goat cheese quiche. I don't know, I feel like with people it's like you either love quiche or you hate quiche. I typically am someone who doesn't like quiche and I find that really it depends on the crust or the pastry and it depends on the degree of firmness that the quiche has. Regardless of how you like it, quiche is one of the easiest things that you can make and depending on the ingredients that you put in it, it will feel more elevated and a lot more leveled up and you'll feel so chic. Honestly, add goat cheese to anything and you'll feel a lot more chic. You know when you go to a fancy hotel and they've got the sliced fruit out for you? Why do we have to wait for a hotel experience in order to like, experience this? I like having a brunch maybe on a Sunday and then you can slice up some melon and you can have that with your brunch. When you slice that melon up, you can then have that throughout the week. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone in the aspect of you're having this elevated, beautiful brunch but you're also getting some of your meal prep done for the week ahead. Have you ever thought of making a signature mocktail? Making mocktails are one of the ways that I feel like you can really elevate your dining experience. If you are someone who drinks alcohol, then of course you can make an alcoholic version of this. This isn't something to get wasted on. <laughs> this is just something to kind of entice your palate with. 
We aren't currently drinking a lot right now, so we are having mocktails, but you can make a signature mocktail and you can even make a seasonal signature mocktail. Then you have all these ingredients on hand, you don't need to think about it, and it's just a way that you can elevate your brunch experience. Orange juice is great, apple juice is great, but an elderflower passion fruit spritz? Which one sounds more chic? <laughs> now regardless of if you're having people over or if you're just having a nice brunch for you and your partner or you and your best friend, you and your housemates, make the table look beautiful. We have quite a large table here and there's even an extension I can buy for it and I am on the hunt for a tablecloth. I don't think that it will fit across the whole length of the table and I've kind of been holding off on it because this table isn't going to stay in this room for much longer. But with that, what I think I will do is, is buy neutral colors first and then as I build my collection, I can get a little bit more adventurous with the patterns that I bring into my home for our tablecloth. Have you ever used candles, candlesticks? There are so many Instagram brands these days that put out the coolest looking tapered candlesticks. They're such a great way to elevate the experience. It's no hidden secret that getting fresh flowers for your brunch experience is gonna really elevate the mood. So if you can, and it's sustainable, see if you can get some fresh flowers. One of the things I love about being in the UK is that back at home in Canada, flowers were expensive. Whereas here, you can get daffodils, like a bunch of daffodils for a pound, or some of the other flowers that I get that you may see in videos. They're a pound 99 and I just think that it's just a nice way that you can bring life and a little bit of elevation to the experience that doesn't make it feel like it's like your average meal. Do you have a playlist? <laughs> now my husband and I, our musical tastes are quite different. So this sometimes can cause a little bit of a point of contention. But with saying that, there are styles of music that we both enjoy. Equally, we find that kind of more old school music just transports us to a completely different vibe, time, and experience. So see if you can take this experience up a notch by putting on a lively playlist. Do you have China? Do you use your china? This is something that I'm being a lot more intentional with, and I think because I have a few pieces of china, some has been thrifted, some is like my highest quality china, I like mixing and matching between the two, and I like using them as much as possible. It is absurd to think that we spend money on these things and then we put them in a cupboard and we don't use them. And it's such a shame because you've obviously bought them because they're beautiful or you like them, etc. And so that's something that we have been doing when we have brunch is that we've been eating on the china and just really elevating the experience. I think the pandemic has showed us why are we waiting to use the best things or have the best experiences because we don't know if tomorrow's promised. So take out your china, it won't break. I promise, and even if it does chip, it has so much more character.
my friends, that is it for this video. If you liked it and you made it to the end, I would be so appreciative if you press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we would be so honored if you did. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye.